Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Victus 15. This will help you with the 15 FB series computers. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your fan, heatsink, CPU assembly. So first thing, make sure your computer is fully powered down and off and make sure it's unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. This computer has a total of seven screws along the bottom case. Once you get those screws out, we're gonna take our small flat pry tool. We're gonna to go across the seam of the bottom case and pry it up from the rest of the computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge, go slow but firm, and you'll be able to take that bottom case off. It's also generally best to start near the back near one of the two hinges. After you get the bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or wearing an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any of the replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, I will have my Amazon affiliate link above, also below in the description, and that will be a list of all those tools and supplies I use, as well as these replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. Now, before doing anything in a computer, it's always best to remove or at least unplug your battery. Computers are safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. Your battery is right down here along the bottom of my screen. The battery is held in by these four screws near the red arrows, and it plugs into the motherboard near the blue arrow. Now to get that plug out, you'll notice the white plug has two grips, one on either side. It makes it very easy to use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle that out of that port right there. If you don't have enough give with those small wires, you may have to unscrew the battery and take it out, but I was able to unplug that from the motherboard uh, without taking my battery out. Your fan heatsink assembly is right up here. You have these two large fans. Your heat sink goes here over these two heat spreaders over your CPU, GPU. The GPU area has three screws on it. The CPU area has four screws. Your fans are also screwed down here. Be very careful when taking your fans up. This one plugs into the motherboard right there. And this one plugs into the motherboard right there. Fan wires are very, very fragile. Make sure you only manipulate the plug. You see the grip on either side, just like the battery. Use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle those out. Uh, really try hard not to pull on the wires themselves. If you are here to replace these fans, I will try to have replacement options below in that link I told you about with all of the tools and supplies and replacement options for this model computer. If you're here to clean out this system, if you're having overheating issues, um, you're going to want to clean out your fans very thoroughly. You're going to want to clean out all of your vents, not only here, but also in your bottom case, in your side panels. Also, as far as your thermal paste go, whether you're in here to address an overheating situation or not, whenever you pick up your heat sink and you expose that thermal paste to air, it does need to be reapplied. You cannot put new thermal paste on top of old thermal paste. I will have a video tutorial below in the description. I'll also include it above in the video and it will show you how to fix an overheating laptop. It'll help you take apart your fans and clean them. It'll also show you how to clean off all the old thermal paste from both your CPU, GPU, and your heatsink. And it will also show you how to reapply the correct amount of thermal paste. If you don't put enough down, it won't do its job. And if you put too much thermal paste down, you could actually lock heat in rather than facilitate its transport out. So I will have that video tutorial below in the description and above in the video, like I mentioned. Another thing to keep in mind with thermal paste, they're not all created equal. The cheaper thermal paste will do an okay job, but the more expensive thermal paste generally will do a better job. So I will try to include both options in that list for you. Um, one in case money is a super big issue, the other one in case you want the best thermal paste you can get. And I guess as long as you're in your computer, if you are looking to upgrade or maximize your speed or performance, RAM is a large factor in that. If you want to learn how to upgrade your RAM, check out the video that'll pop up when this one's done. It'll show you how to do that. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.